Hello everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. In today's video I'd like to take a look at the YM from yesterday because it shows a perfect example of how MT Predictor should be used when we take uh, MT Predictor customers from the, the sort of standard and new trade management guidelines, in, guidelines using the STF to show you how to use some of the more advanced tools in the software. When you first purchase MT Predictor, we encourage you to use the STF because that's an easy to use indicator for the large degree trend direction. Blue for up, uh, red for down, black for flat. So here you can see the STF color was blue, therefore you'd be avoiding that sell setup and taking these uh, two buy setups here. And as you can see, these actually unfold as minus one hour losses. So overall, you may have thought that this might have been a minus two hour day. However, once you become more experienced, we encourage you to move away from the STF color and go to the using the larger degree time frame for your larger degree support and resistance zones. Why do we do this? Well, indicators are easy to use, therefore we that's why we get you to use them to start with, but they are lagging. It's the same with any indicator, they worked on past histories, they're lagging. So what we're looking for is we're looking for leading indicators. In other words, indicators that can be placed on your chart before the market even gets there. So if I zoom out on the YM, you can see it rallied strongly all yesterday, but, and this is the important point, there was a nice big pivot uh, high here. You can see this pivot high here. So before yesterday even opened, what you could have done, or the more experienced uh, MT predictor users would have done, would have gone back to that pivot high, right mouse click, and placed the decision point level on the chart. Now this is great because this is leading. In other words, this level would have been on your chart before yesterday even opened. So let's uh, have a look and see what difference that would have made for your three minute analysis. I'll just zoom back in again. Well, this is quite a wide zone. Uh, normally the 15 minute DPs aren't that wide, but can you see how once the market entered the zone here early in the day, because you're in larger degree resistance, you're anticipating a high to come in. So in other words, as you're anticipating a high to come in, you should be looking for sell setups. If I scroll this back a bit, you can see that that means you are able to catch this DP cell at the high of the day because it was at, at the large degree resistance. So therefore you could have caught a nice 2.2 hour profit. Not only that, but because these buy setups were now against what is now a new downtrend, you'd have been avoiding these buy setups. So instantly that would have turned what looked like a minus 2 hour day into very easily a plus 2 hour day. But it gets better than that. Another trade setup we teach, and it's one of my favorites, is the VSA setup. So what's that? Well, the VSA setup, if I zoom in a bit, is where we have, I'll just put the uh, crosshairs on, is where we have our VSA indicator down here. And this gives a red bar when something unusual is happening in the volume. Now we look at this when the market is making a wide range move beyond an important psychological point. So in other words, this bar here at 1339 gave us our VSA indication and it made a new high above the prior pivot uh, here. So in other words, psychologically, amateur traders will be looking at this and thinking, making new highs on high volume, therefore our buy. Now what we do is we look for the very next bar to see what happened the very next bar. I'll just scroll that back a bit. and. We also place our DP on from the prior minor pivot. Why do we do that? Because as we have already said earlier in the video, the DP gives you an area in advance of where the market is likely to make a reversal. So the very next bar, which is this bar here, was our 1342 bar. It then snapped back down and reversed back. And more importantly, it reversed back at our small DP resistance. In other words, the market failed to follow through. Because it failed to follow through, we now know that the higher volume on the previous bar, which was the 1339 bar in this case, was actually selling by professionals and not buying. What does that mean? Well, if the professionals are starting to sell a market, it means that they want to move the market quite strongly and therefore you can anticipate quite a strong move. So in this example, rather than looking to come out of the first target there, you can look to run it a little bit further and potentially come out near uh, the close of the day for a, a much higher profit, in this case near a 5.8R. So that's one of my favorite trade setups, the MT Predictor VSA setup, because it gets you in the direction of the professional traders. But it gets better on that on this day, that, um, yesterday, because we've already now determined that at 1339, 1342, we had an important high. 
because of the VSA setup and because we were coming in at higher time frame resistance. So now let's go down to a shorter time frame chart and see that we actually got a TS1 cell a bit later on here. Why is this such a good setup? Well, yes, it's against the blue STF and these always will be because they're on the first correction in a new trend. So let's have a look at this. Here's our major high. We've already determined that. The initial decline off a major high in Elliott Wave terms is deemed a wave 1. The initial correction is deemed a wave 2, which should ideally unfold as a minor ABC. But then the best part about this is if this is a wave 2, then we're anticipating a strong wave 3 kind of move off that. And that's exactly what happened. Major high, 1, 2, 3. So let's place the analysis on this TS1 cell. If we place the analysis on, we can now see the, see the minor ABC correction there as well. So let's see what we do with this setup. Well, because we're anticipating a strong wave 3, it means that we don't look to uh, come out at our first target here. We look to come out at our typical wave 3 WPT target, which is down here. So there you can see it suddenly turned uh, a nice profit at the minimum wave C into an excellent profit of approximately 7R. And this is why this is my other favorite MT predictor trade and why we call it the holy grail trade setup, not because it has a high reliability, but because when the profits come through, they're much, much larger than the losses or initial risks. Here, this profit was seven times greater than the initial risk. So turning a 400 US dollar uh, initial risk, which is 2% on a sample 20,000 US dollar uh, account into approximately $2,800. And all of this because we knew that this was a larger or uh, important high coming in here. So there you can see a lovely 7R profit. So suddenly, with a bit more uh, experience and um, a bit more knowledge of the, the tools in MT Predictor, we turn what was um, originally anticipated as a minus 2R day when you just look at it at the surface to suddenly, with a bit more experience, understanding that this DS. DP cell because it was also a VSA setup was professionals coming in and therefore we're anticipating a strong move therefore you could look to run the trade a bit further so that gave you a lovely short trade off what was the high of the day not only that my other favorite trade then came in here for our holy grail trade uh, the holy grail cell setup here which was a perfect example that would have uh, netted approximately 7R so yesterday was an absolutely brilliant example showing the two favorite MT predictor trade setups of, uh, of my own and shows you how uh, once you become more experienced with the software you can understand how the markets move a lot better and understand why the moves come on and be able to anticipate them particularly as we had this 15 minute DP resistance on our target so in other words it would have changed what on the surface looked like another uh, a small losing day into a very very profitable day with this plus 7R profit here and also the lovely DP stroke VSA sell off the high of the day. So this is a great example that shows you the true power of the tools in the MT Predictor software program incorporating my two favorite setups. So all in all an absolutely brilliant day for MT Predictor yesterday on the YM.